y'all. Happy Friday. Happy preparation for your Sabbath. It's the weekend, baby. Anyway, you guys know on Friday, I like to give you guys something to do that's going to benefit you for your future, right? And you know, all my instructions are based off the word, right? The Bible, biblical instructions before leaving earth or basic instructions before leaving earth, right? So you don't got to worry about me trying to give you the type of instruction that's going to go outside of the order of living. But everything I give you is going to be in order, okay? In the order of living, right? So you can overcome. Because once you learn, once you unlearn all that other stuff that the world and got you to believe, right? Then you can overcome, right? So unlearn and then overcome, right? And I'm here to help you. Like I told you guys, in this every time I've been charged to help you guys with this, right? And the last part of um, the half of time, because we actually in the half of time, right? And one day I'm going to explain to you guys a breakdown on um, time, you know, um, times and half a time. Because right now, you know, um, we are in a half a time, right? Going to that seven seal. Okay, so look, I talked about in my short, you know, earlier, um, you know, you guys stop thinking the grass is greener always on the other side. It's not that, you know, we can have... Um, a lovely husband or a lovely wife at home that's doing all this and that, right? But we got so many distractions out here that's thrown in your face and, and tempting you to go out there, right? All these vows, and believe you not, it's always done on purpose. It is done on purpose, right? Because the devil himself don't want love and happiness, right? So I know you might be out here striving and everything, striving for love and trying to be faithful and do right. And you be on a track too, be on a track doing right and everything. And then you got this hotty trotty man and woman come up with a nice old body got it going on. You're like, what in the, you know? But believe you me, that be a rich drawing in to throw you off your track, to throw you off from, you know, being faithful to your husband and wife. Especially if your husband and wife love you and love everything about you, knowing that you're that king or queen, you know, and, and you lead them as a king, you know. That, that really hurts them, you know, when a person allows themselves to be tempted, right? So believe you me, the grass is not greener on the other side. That is just a start to cause you to destruction. Destruction of your wife, your life, and now when you had a happy wife and a happy life, now it's going to be destructive wife and destructive life because for the most part, women, we get a little bit crazy, you know, um, we get you on, we might try to do some federal attraction stuff, or, you know, something's going to happen. We ain't just giving up easily, and we put in all, everything into that relationship, okay? So, you guys, I'm here to tell you, you know, especially Judah, right? Stop thinking the grass is always green on the other side. Stick to your tribe, right? Don't, don't y'all see what's going on? Y'all see Judah is coming together. Y'all see that power ball? Wake up, you know, use common sense. You know, it's trying to show you what did even Raymond say back in the days. The main thing that feared him was black unity coming together, right? And for all those who sold out on Judah, let them continue to sell out because we don't even want them back anyway unless the father bring them back. Because believe you me, those same people that try to come back, you know, after they have been done in and been made to remember that they still that low down person, that old crazy person, they try to come back, right? But those kind of people who got to speak, you know, feed with a, a long handed spoon because as soon as, soon as another bag come from that other side, they're going to sell you out anyway, right? So it's your job, you know, to pay attention for your surroundings, you know, who around you and everything, right? So, you know, keep to bay, you know, um, your surroundings, okay? Who is in your life, you know? Husband or wife, what kind of friends you got? Because when you guys got a great thing, trust and believe me, there are people, vows out there plotting against how they're going to break it up, right? Because, hey, the goal is not to bring families together, but to divide them, right? Because if you bring families together, then that'd be the right thing, and the world can be can overcome, which is going to happen anyway, sooner or later. I mean, right now we're going to go into worse, right? Because we got to go into the whole Armageddon, the whole Antichrist, but everything is being led up. To the Antichrist because we're in the great falling away. When I say we in that great falling away, we're in that great falling away along with Jacob's trouble, right? And I will break down Jacob's trouble to you guys. Hmm, maybe next week because a lot of people throwing off that Jacob's trouble. What they think Jacob's trouble is is not Jacob's trouble. Okay, so you know, like I said, I read that at verse. Okay, um, for Hosea two seven, and she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them. And she should seek them, but should not find them. Then shall she say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then was it better with me than now. So you see, and hey, we can apply this to man and woman, right? Husband and wife, you know. 
they don't even realize that the person they got at home was giving them their, their diamond and their gold and their silver and their oils, right? They don't even realize that the, the person they got at home is the best person for them, right? Because there's so many distractions out in the world, you know, that they was used to probably before they got married or was not even um, marriage material before they got married. And they cling back to their lifestyle, you know, um, to the quick lifestyle or the fast lifestyle where their lovers was giving them this and that you know, to degrade themselves. And you'd be amazed how some men and women like that, right? You know, um, because they consider that a, 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 a husband or a wife is a boring life, right? And sometimes it can be a boring life, right? But it's a healthy life, right? So we got to take in consideration, okay, just because the hot and man and woman can make me feel this way, but how is it going to benefit me for my future? Well, it's probably going to lead me to a disease, lead me to a child out of wedlock, lead me to a divorce, Lead me to all my money being gone because my wife or husband going to take me for it. You see, where does it lead you to, right? So stop always thinking that grace is green on the other side. Because that same person who out tempting you, they want to break up your relationship. Because most of the part, they want a, a married man or, or a married woman. So because they think in their mind that they can take you from that person, right? And then you be stupid enough to let them based on your lust. Based on how this person can make you feel sexually, right? Thinking the green, the grass is green on the other side. But when you go over there, you realize it's rotten. Now, you done got a hold of this rotten grass that you allowed to manipulate you. Now, your green grass is, is also turning rotten now because of your lust of ways, right? It's just like that. Now, everything you done built, the house, the career, the success and everything, right? And that, I mean, that green, that grass was so green on that side, you allow it to become rotten because of your lustful flesh and your temptation and distractions, which you can't blame on distractions because their job is to create folly and cause you distress, right? Okay. So anyway, you guys, be careful, you know, um, about how you allow people to come in your life, right? Especially Judah. Look, Judah, we, we're being built again, right? Okay, we're we being built, we're unifying, you know? Judah coming together, right? We're starting to keep it within our tribe. That's a great thing because trust and believe me, when Judah come all the way together and when the gospel is spread throughout the world, we're taking over, okay? It's already written and it's already going on. And let me tell y'all something else that's written. Because remember, two-thirds of the world is going to fall. Only one-third is going to be here, right? You know that two-thirds is going to be? That's going to be the wicked. Because it is written that the wicked, the evildoers, will not understand what's going on. The only people that will, will understand is those who are seeking diligently for the truth. And that's what? That's only written. One-third. That's a, woo, a small amount of us. Because only a small amount of us understand only a small amount of us is chosen by the Father. And he uses us as tools and instruments to bring you guys in together restoration too. But time is running out. It's running out. And he is using us, right? What he say? He bring his prophets and everything to come teach you guys in the morning. He get them up in the morning to teach you guys, to help you guys. But remember, some people is going in one yard the other, not taking heed. But I bet you when they, they are taking heed to, right, all the supernatural things that's going on in this world. Look at all the extremities that's happening around this world, from the weather to the death to the suddenly dying to everything. Y'all think that's just a normal coincidence? No, that is divine supernatural reactions to the great falling away that's taking place right now. Right now, we're in the great falling away. This world is upside down. Everything is contrary to the Bible. And the Father said, once the great falling away take place, once once this sin, everything come right enough for the Antichrist, Antiochus, the fall, when he come back, oh my goodness, that's all we waiting on. And it's getting stirred up, right? So you see how everything is being stirred up, you know, um, for the great falling away to continue to get, to just, to, to, to become ahead, right? So it's actually, the blueprint is already being set, okay? And um, we probably, and we're, we're there. We're about almost, we're not, we, we, we're getting towards the midst of it right now. But the great falling away have already taken place, right, you guys? The great falling away is basically that the world contrary to the Father. When sin become all the way ripe, right? When sin gets to its deepest ripeness, right? When the great falling away become a whole, the Antichrist, when it's known with all his flattering words, that's when the Antichrist is going to rise. So be careful, right? Whoever you got, you're going to need them to build and walk to their wilderness with you. I'm trying to tell you right now. Also pay attention to how the Father is bringing relationships together. 
You think it's a coincidence that people all of a sudden give me these relationships? Because remember what he said, right? The bummer, uh, the abomination of desolation got to come. And he also said he feels sorry for those women who's giving, who going to give labor on the Sabbath when all the tribulations take place. He's telling y'all right now. So I advise you women and men to get off your high horse, get you somebody by your side because you're going to need them, right? You're going to have to start planting and all that. Um, saving water, putting food, you're going to need it. I'm telling you right now what's going to happen. So get yourself together. You're running around here thinking you can sleep with Tom, Dick, and Harry, or, you know, um, thinking you uh, for la la and you just God's gift to America behind me. I'm telling you right now, and look at more time. All that thinking going to be a reverse because you ain't going to have nobody to help you. You're going to be out here alone, and that's when they're going to come to get you, come to get you like, I messed up. I messed up. Because in the end, it is also written, only the strong survive. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. All right, you guys. Again, don't think the grass is green on the other side. Get you somebody going to support you who's going to love you. And the life might be boring. Okay? But that's okay. It's healthy. You guys can dance some spunk into it. It's what you want. All right, you guys. Um, I hope I'm bringing some clarification to you guys. I hope what I'm doing is helping some of you guys. Because remember, my goal is not to save 99 sheep, but one, right? Just one of those sheep, right? Or to do that, i got to speak bold from the heart. Like the like the like the boldness of a lion. Hey, does the father say fear none? But come for him and bring his people edify, and he will give you your reward. Hey, he already blessed me with so many. I'm, I'm loving them, and I'm going to keep coming. So I'm gonna keep trying to teach y'all. Love y'all, and Judah. I love what y'all doing. Keep up the good work, right? Keep in this tribe, right? Remember, because Judah, our tribe, is the greatest for all the sides. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Happy preparation for your seven, and I love you.